Well, hello there everyone, there was a new update on Roguelike Adventures and Dungeons, which is the 1.41. We're gonna be explaining what's new, so make sure to subscribe, hit the like button, and let's go. First of all, whenever you start a world, you have now two options. Create new world, which is gonna use the vanilla generator, or OTG. The new thing about this is that you can create an OTG world and select a name for it from the start. Meaning, before the update, you can only have one world with OTG. The other ones would be quotes on quotes vanilla. Which means the new generations, like roguelike dungeons, were not gonna be properly spawned. So that means that now you can have multiple saves and multiple worlds with roguelike adventures and dungeons. There was also a huge update on OTG, Open Terrain Generator, that allows the world to load super faster and your gameplay is gonna be way smoother. There's a lot of performance fixes, so you can expect a smoother gameplay now. Okay, and here we are on this new world. There are new quests in the Between Lands tab, and there are a whole lot of new quests on the Farming Valley, which is to collect seeds and saplings. This has been in the mod pack for a while, but there were no quests about it, so that's a nice addition, not gonna lie. And one really small detail, the flint and steel doesn't require a shape now, it's shapeless, so before that you actually had to place a flint and steel on a specific way and that's no longer needed, so that's just a small tweak, but it's something. And there's a whole new add-on called Ancient Spellcraft that allows you to have 66 more spells and introduces a new... Um, a lot of rings and gear. If you go on JI on your inventory, you can type at ancient spellcraft. And you can see all the new items, all the new spells and what they do. You can also know how to craft them. This is actually a nice addition to Electrobobs because it allows you to have more than the default nine spells. And I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I never got into Electrobobs because I was kind of bummed by the lack of content on it, but now that I now that it has a lot of spells and a lot of items, I'm definitely gonna introduce that on my Let's Play series of Roguelike. So yeah, let's go. Next one. We have a new feature called Better Placement. If you are just going down, you won't miss one. You used to be able to just get a few blocks here, and if you're getting down, you would miss a few, and, but now you don't. What you can do now is you can right click and it's gonna fill all of them. And it's not gonna place twice. This is just a small tweak, but it's something cool. See, I didn't miss any, even though I was gonna miss some. It's just a quality of life mod that's gonna allow you to build faster, so enjoy it. The next feature implemented was easier villager trading, which means whenever you click, right click a villager, it shows you all the trades on the left side. Even though it's not as powerful as the new updated Minecraft, this is a really nice addition to Minecraft 1.12. This is gonna make trading so much easier. Let me just give myself some paper so I can make this guy rich. You can just click this and it's gonna trade, you can shift click it. And it's gonna run all the trades and now we just wait for him to upgrade. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. And here you are, we got him to level two. He now wants compass for one emerald. It's not a really it's not a really good deal. You know, it's something. I wouldn't say that's the most useful feature in Minecraft, but that's something, you know. Cool. Okay, let's hop to the next one. The next one is an island for JEI which allows the items for harvest craft to be inside JEI, just like the presser, the market, and all the related items to harvest craft. This is a really useful um, oven because it's gonna allow you to discover all the new food that can give you extra HP in this mod pack. We also got the whaler harvest ability, which is really useful. If you go to a crop, you can see, while looking at it, the growth percentage. Let me just give myself some bone meal. And you can now see the progress level on the top left of your screen. 
This is useful because honestly, uh, if there's no one fully ground, I can't really tell which one is ground. So this is useful for people like me that don't really know a lot of Minecraft. So yeah, I'm a noob. Sue me. And another really useful mod that we got in this update is something that a lot of mod packs have and I didn't even notice that this mod pack didn't have which is whenever you look at a block you can see the information on the on the top left of your screen now you can see that this block is a grass block it's harvestable and the effective tool is a shovel but if you look at any sort of a mineral you also see the um, harvest level Harvest level 1 is, if I'm not mistaken, stone. So you can harvest this amber bearing stone with a stone tool. But if you go down to diamond level, you can see that harvest level is 2, which means you are actually gonna need an uh, iron pickaxe. And now, if we get some obsidian here, you'll notice that the harvest level is gonna be level 3. I'm not sure if there are more harvest levels than 3, I believe so, because you know, this is a mod pack and there are a lot of mods here. And I, I surely hope that I will not fall in this lava, you know. Ow! And that last but not at least, we got Yank's Better Mineshaft, which is a mod that allows the mineshaft generation to be really fancier. Look at this. Usually mineshafts are all kind of broken and kind of ugly, but these ones are actually nice. You can see that there's a lot of uh, decorations here. There are a lot of fences. This is actually really cool and it looks like someone built this from the ground instead of just being naturally generated. And I'm not gonna lie, this is really cool. That was it for today's video. That was the update on Roguelike Adventures and Dungeons 1.41. And I hope you guys enjoyed. And don't forget to press like. I got a Patreon, I got a Discord server. If you guys wanna join, all the links are gonna be in the description. And I'm in the process of getting something special for you on Twitch. So make sure to hit the follow button there. So yeah, guys, don't forget to subscribe, share this with your fellow roguelike adventures and dungeons players, and have a nice one.